what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking just to the phone today we're gonna be talking about the black ops 3 dlc maps and also along the way we're gonna be talking about the dlc weapons and also dlc score streaks now i do have the full list of the score streaks that they made it like a long time ago and i'm telling you there's like around four score streaks locked they haven't been revealed so yeah, I believe that this year we're going to have some score streaks that are going to be included into a DLC. And also, there are going to be like around two assault rifles that are going to be locked. So there are going to be some assault rifles being released along the DLCs. So that's going to be something interesting to see. But I will talk about it in separate videos. So today, it's all about the DLC maps. Now the DLC maps, what do we want? What maps do we want to return back? And what do we not want? So in my opinion, what I want is that um you know some black ops 1 maps to return that's all i want i want some black ops 1 maps and in black ops 2 i really wish for it because you know black ops 2 was re really well done in the beginning though like in the, at the end you know von der hart kind of updated every single weapon and it looks super weak i'm telling you even quickscopers fucked up the whole game of black ops 2 because those are the only weapons that are actually not never been touched by an update so um so yeah, I mean, Black Ops 2 was pretty much a well-done game, and it would have been great to see some Black Ops 1 maps because you know maps like Ar like Array and WMD, I mean, they do have some certain flow, and having the flow of Black Ops 2 with that flow of the old school Black Ops 1 maps, it would have been just a pure disaster of uh, you know tons of kill streaks, tons of hiding spots, and a lot of things to do in that one map. So, I mean, it just had so many multiple paths. It's just fun to play in because in WMD. I'm telling you, they did have like around four passageways to five passageways to get from point A to point C. And then uh, Array, I believe they had like around, I'll say four passageways to actually get from point A to point C. And, you know, it's just, it was really fun to go through those passages because there's like this one side of the, where you gotta go through a mountain. And then there's another side where you gotta go through a road. And then the middle side, there is two pathways in the middle. Like there's some stairs you gotta take or there's some tunnel that you gotta go under to appear in the opposite flag. So there's a lot of things to do on those kinds of maps. And then the map is pretty huge that you can use a sniper or you can go into close combat and use your SMGs or assault rifles. It was just so many things to do. And that's the thing that I liked about Black Ops 1 maps. All of them allowed you to use whatever you wanted to use. It had close range and long range combat. So seeing some Black Ops 1 maps return, that would be great. But as far as, as I know, they're not going to bring anything back. Only Nuketown 2065. Wow. Again, Nuketown. Who keeps asking for goddamn Nuketown? I swear to God, I want to I wanna smack every single person with a brick. Whoever keeps saying that, oh, we got to have Nuketown back. Oh, we got to have Nuketown back. Like, God damn it. Can we request for another goddamn map? I'm getting tired of that freaking request. Most of the requests came from kids. And pretty sure those kids has already, have already grown up at this point. But they still keep asking for Nuketown. Like, that's the only word that got stuck in their mouth. Nuketown, Nuketown, Nuketown. No, man. Come on, man. WMD, Array. And several other ground war maps that were back in the day. Then Come on, we need those. But another question is, you know, do they have enough walls to wall run on? And sadly, no. So, we might not see. And that's why I say that. So, um... Yeah, I mean, that's another thing that you got to think about. Do they have enough walls to run on? Unless they refix the map that allows people to run on walls like more and more, you know, like that would, that would be great to uh, see some of those Black Ops 1 maps kind of change. So, yeah, but they're not going to do that. They're lazy as fuck. So I don't think I want to see that at all. Another thing that uh, one of the things that I don't want into the DLC of Black Ops 3 is for them to repeat the goddamn DLC maps. Like back in Black Ops 2, most of the DLC maps are actually the same. That's something I don't want. For God's sakes. I don't want those three pathways again. Go back into your DLC maps, guys, on Black Ops 2. And I'm telling you, like for the 50th time on a separate video, they repeated their goddamn DLC maps. But nobody's going to go check them, of course. So that is it, guys. I don't want to repeat the DLC maps. I want to see some Black Ops 1 maps. It's enough of this Nuketown bullshit. I want to see more creativity, more multiple paths, more, more, more. That's all I want. Enough of this three-way pathway. I want to see multiple path maps. And, of course, a little bit larger, by the way. So that is it. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Leave your own opinion about this. What DLC maps do you expect from Black Ops 3?